In this video, we will do some College Board multiple choice questions pertaining to polynomial end behavior. This is AP Precalculus Topic 1.6. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. Number 1. For a polynomial function f, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x is equal to infinity, and the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is equal to negative infinity. Which of the following must be true about f? Here's a quick side lesson on the end behavior of polynomial functions. First of all, the sign of the leading coefficient always matches the end behavior on the right. If the leading coefficient is positive, the polynomial is approaching positive infinity on the right. If the leading coefficient is negative, the polynomial will be approaching negative infinity on the right. The degree of the polynomial will allow you to determine the end behavior on the left because if the degree of the polynomial is even, then the end behavior on the left will match the end behavior on the right, like positive infinity and positive infinity, or negative infinity and negative infinity. On the other hand, if the degree of the polynomial is odd, then the end behavior on the left will be the opposite of the end behavior on the right, like positive infinity and negative infinity, or negative infinity and positive infinity. I'm going to sketch an end behavior model now. I'm putting a little question mark in the middle because we don't know exactly how many twists and turns are happening in the middle. But we do know that the limit as x approaches negative infinity is positive infinity. In other words, the polynomial is approaching positive infinity on the left and the limit as x approaches positive infinity is equal to negative infinity. In other words, the polynomial is approaching negative infinity on the right. Remember that the end behavior on the right matches the sign of the leading coefficient. Because the polynomial approaches negative infinity on the right, the leading coefficient is negative. Also, the fact that we have opposite end behaviors on the left and right tells us that the degree is odd. So the answer is C. Number two, for the polynomial function g, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of g of x is equal to negative infinity. Which of the following expressions could define g of x? All we know is that g of x is approaching negative infinity on the left, like this. So we just need to figure out which one of these approaches negative infinity on the left. Let's examine option A. Negative 2x to the fourth power is actually the leading term because it has the highest degree. The fact that the leading coefficient is negative tells us that the polynomial is approaching negative infinity on the right. The fact that the degree is even tells us that the end behavior on the left is going to match the end behavior on the right. Well, there it is already. For option A, the polynomial is approaching negative infinity on the left, and that is what we were looking for. So the answer is A. I'm going to run through the other three answers just for practice. For option B, the leading term is negative 2x to the seventh power, because this has the highest degree. The fact that the leading coefficient is negative tells us that the end behavior on the right is negative infinity. The fact that the degree is odd tells us that we have opposite end behavior on the left. So positive infinity on the left is not what we were looking for. On option C, x to the fifth power divided by five is the same thing as one-fifth x to the fifth power. The fact that the leading coefficient is negative tells us that the polynomial is approaching negative infinity on the right. The fact that the degree is odd means that we have opposite end behavior on the left, and that is not a match. On option D, the leading term is 2x to the fourth power because this is the one with the highest degree. The fact that the leading coefficient is positive means that the polynomial is approaching positive infinity on the right. The fact that the degree is even 
means that the end behavior on the left will match the end behavior on the right. So again, option A was the only one that approaches negative infinity on the left. Number three, the function f is given by f of x equals negative two x to the seventh power plus five x to the fourth power plus six x squared minus three. Which of the following correctly describes the end behavior of f as the input values increase without bound? When they say the input values increase without bound, they are talking about the limit as x approaches positive infinity. In other words, we are discussing the right end behavior. And uh, let's see, the leading term in this case is the negative two x to the seventh power. And we have learned that if the leading coefficient is negative, then the end behavior on the right is approaching negative infinity. So, this should be the answer. So the answer is B. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.